These are instructions for the Strutmaster's rear and front strut conversion installation for the 2004 Hummer H2. First, raise the rear of your vehicle and always remember to use proper supports. Remember, safety is our primary goal here at Strutmasters. After you have made sure that the vehicle is properly supported, remove the rear wheel. Locate the air compressor switch for the air suspension system. This is in the inside rear of the vehicle and make sure it is in the off position. Remove the rear air shock by pulling down on it. Then cut and seal the existing air line. Next remove the mount for the old air suspension system. Slowly raise the rear control arm by placing a support under it. Then remove the upper shock mount. Now remove the bolt for the lower shock mount and remove the shock from the vehicle. Remove the bolt that connects the sway bar end link. Remove the jack and lower the rear control arm and install your new coil spring. If you are installing an airlift conversion, deflate the airbag and manually work it into the coil spring. This process can also be done while the coil spring is in position. With the valve in the up position, insert the airlift cap into the spring and on top of the airlift bag. Attach the new airline to the air shock with the supplied clamp. Place the new coil spring into place with the airlift conversion kit. When installing your new coil springs, always make sure that the writing on the spring is facing the rear of the vehicle. Attach and route the airline properly and always follow the included instructions for the proper inflation of your air suspension system. Install the new rear shock by first inserting the top bolt into the mount. Now raise the lower control arm and attach the lower shock mount. Now tighten both lower and top bolts. Now reattach the sway bar end link, then remove the jack that supports the lower control arm. Now we'll move to the front of the vehicle to install the new front shocks. With the front of the vehicle properly supported, remove the front wheel. Now place a jack under the front control arm and remove the upper shock mount. Remove and discard the old bushings. Now remove the bolt to the lower shock mount and remove the shock. Take your new shock, complete with new bushings, and attach the upper mount in the proper location. Now 
now raise the lower control arm to attach the lower shock mount. Now reinstall the front wheel and safely lower your vehicle. This completes the Strutmaster's rear and front shock conversion installation for the Hummer H2.